What's up guys? This is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym, bringing you guys a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to break down and give you my first impressions of this Hulk Fit Power Gauge with the cable crossover attachment to see if it's the right fit for you guys at home gym. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, before we get started, you guys know the drill. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to push this video across the world, baby. My name is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. I do home gym reviews, tips, and tricks to show that you out there can get jacked in your home gym, baby. Appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. So today, the long awaited arrival and talking about this Hulk Fit Rack. So first, let me give you a little bit of background. So if you ever go on Amazon and you look up squat rack, okay? Hulk Fit always pops up. And you probably always notice too, the yellow pops up too. So their, their power cage here now, they have yellow, they also have black with this power cage. Um, <laughs> I know color really doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but the yellow definitely will make your gym pop if that's something you're interested in after you watch this video on the first impressions. So again, Amazon, you find a lot of Hulk Fit stuff on Amazon. Their power cage right here is advertised as a budget friendly piece of equipment for the squat rack. Now we're talking just a squat rack here. It's a little over $330. And that is a very affordable price because if you think about the home gym, okay? A lot of people like working out from home, but a lot of people out there can't afford the top tier, best of the best. So they look for more affordable options that will get the job done. And that's what I'm described today is this Hulk Fit Rack. And I'm gonna talk about the attachments you can get with it as well, which adds a lot more versatility to your guys' home gym with this rack. So first thing I wanna talk about is just kind of give you guys some features and specs. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is these uprights are 2.35 by 2.35. So a little over a two by two square rack with one inch mounting holes and uh, something else to mention too when you get this rack guys. So it comes with this multi-grip uh, pull-up bar, which is nice. You can do wide grip, you can do inner grip, um, even more inner grip. So you have a wide range of exercises you can do with this pull-up bar because they advertise the squat rack as versatile where you can do different power lifts, you know, body weight exercises, multiple different movements in this squat rack, which is a huge added plus because again, you hear it a lot in the home gym, versatility is a much needed aspect in the home gym. Uh, some other things the squat rack comes with guys, um, it comes with these dip bars. So I'll even hop on here for you guys. These are actually pretty stable. You know, I was a little skeptical when I put these on, I'm like, you know, are, are these things gonna fall out and fall on my face? Answer is no, they're pretty stable and solid inside the squat rack. And it also comes with these J-hooks. Now these are obviously more of a cheapy J-hook. If you're really, really wanting to find a more quality J-hook, go look online and find some, but these are fine and get the job done for what you need. And also it comes with these safety bars here. Obviously very important to have these safety bars when you're squatting or doing bench. You know, safety is very important, especially working out by yourself at home, in your home gym. Uh, those are the main features of this rack. Uh, a lot of people probably are always curious to ask like, Luke, is this thing stable? When you're doing things, is this thing shaking all over the place? Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say this thing is the most stable squat rack on the planet. It's a more budget-friendly option, but you know, just by doing various lifts in this, I have had really no issues with that. Especially too, I noticed when you put the attachment, the cable crossover attachment adds more weight to it to make it more secure on the ground. But again, if, if that's your main concern, okay, you gotta think about price and kind of what you're getting yourself into, it's not gonna be the best of the best, but that's why it's a budget-friendly option for people out there in the home gym. And something else to note too, guys, with this Hulk Fit power cage, just the power cage holds up to 800 pounds weight capacity. So if you wanna be the person out there to throw 800 pounds on it and throw it down and see if it holds it up, I'm gonna guarantee it will, okay? This is, this is you know, it's steel, okay? Steel is freaking steel, guys. <laughs> Think about that, okay? It's going to get the job done for the price you are paying, which again is what you're looking for when you want to budget anything budget. Is it going to get the job done for that price? Yes, it's going to. Uh, the next thing I kind of want to talk about too, 
which I'll probably do a more dedicated video in the future of talking more about their cable attachments you can get with this. But so I went with the cable crossover. So the cable crossover, okay, you can tell, adds a lot of floor space. So before I show you that, I'll, I'll plug a floor space of with just the power cage. So my ceilings are 94 and you still got a solid, almost looks like almost like a foot I have to my ceiling. So most people's home gyms will be able to fit the power cage inside their home gym. Now, when we're talking the cable crossover, it adds a lot more floor space and width to your guys' gym. So this covers 120 uh, inches a square, a square foot. So it's a lot. So if you have the space, great. If you don't, Okay, they have other options. They have a lat pull down option you could get um, instead of doing the cable crossover. You can find other avenues of doing uh, cable crossovers in your home gym, a lot of different varieties. But uh, talking about the cable crossover, just talk about it a little bit. Um, it's pretty smooth. Now, I'm, I really enjoy uh, talking to Hulk Fit, but I'm gonna just kind of give him a ding on this. This thing was a nightmare to figure out, okay? The instruction videos were not as clear as they should be. Okay, so we had to do a lot of just kind of trial and error to figure it out. Instruction in general was not very clear. You kind of just had to eyeball how it looked on the picture to figure out how to do it. So I'm a huge advocate of companies really working on creating step-by-step -step sharp and concise videos because for an idiot like me who struggles using tools, I need something like that or I'm going to lose my freaking mind trying to figure this out because me and my buddy were at this for a long time. Um, that aside, okay, the pulley system is pretty smooth. Obviously, when I got it, I put some WD-40 on this. Uh, so the pulleys are pretty smooth and um, haven't had a lot of issues with that. And on the sides here, you get a lot of different adjustments. You go to high, middle, low you know, for cable crossovers. You could also use it for different rowing movements. Um, a lot of different accessories. So you got two different styles of pulley systems here for your gym. Um, I'm, I'm, I like it. I really do. Um, I kind of like this more than my uh, Major Ludi um, because it's wider. I feel like I get a better stretch. You know, I get a better squeeze in my chest doing cable crossovers here because it's wider, if that makes sense. Uh, I would say one thing that was kind of, kind of sucked with this is there's supposed to be a spacer in this too. So when we pulled this piece on, the spacer completely cracked. So there's a little bit of a sway, a wiggle when I am adjusting this, which again is not the end of the world, but it is a little annoying, but that's okay. Um, again, it's a more budget option, but it's not going to defeat the way, the purpose of this and what it can do. And it's still usable and pretty solid for what it can do. And even just kind of showing you guys, not sure how, be how the best angle is, you know, the pulleys are smooth. You know, doesn't feel like it's stuck. It feels like it runs smooth. Definitely get WD-40 for any time you have cable pulley systems. It gives you the best experience possible. But again, I'm very, I, I mean, I am. For the price you get, the cable crossover adds like over $300 to this. But again, for, I'm not the best at math. I'll add it here. Okay, close to over $700 for the cage and cable crossover. You know, you get a lot of added variety to your home gym. All right, guys, so that's just my first impressions, kind of breaking down this piece of equipment, kind of giving you my thoughts on it so far. Uh, let me know in the comments is, you know, if you've seen the Hulk Fit rack, what are your thoughts on Hulk Fit products? Is this something you would add to your home gym? If you're like, ah, Luke, this ain't for me, dog. Let me know in the comments. I uh, really appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Make sure again to subscribe. I'm trying to bring out videos weekly for you guys. Um, when I get back from my trip, I'm going to be working on a challenge to see if I can push my body to limit um, and see if I can drop a little bit of weight to get jacked and show you that it's possible to do that in a home gym. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys checking this out and uh, can't wait to see you guys next week for another video. This is Luke for Luke's Garage Gym. See you guys later.